Hello everybody, um, hello once again and welcome to my channel for uh, Primal Reef, um, following along with the reef, uh, 75 gallon saltwater reef tank build. Um, as you can see I've got pretty far in my build, um, pretty much all that's left over now is my uh, protein skimmer, the Aqua C, which is located right there, uh, temporarily for now, I gotta find out if I'm gonna do external at the top there, or hide it down below but this this video is gonna be on a, a do-it-yourself aquarium light stand um, there are many different types in the market um, if you go on to BRS they make a lot of type of brackets um, there are some which is like a 90 degree L bracket and that pretty much mounts on the back wall and then it kinda comes over your tank and then you mount whatever fixture you have uh, as you can see my do-it-yourself uh, LED reef lights for the floodlights in my channel. Uh, I order these new type of lighting that's in the market now. Um, right here. Pretty cool type of lights. So uh, what I'm going to do in my system is, uh, is I've, as you can see, I, I bought a bar from Home, Home Depot. Uh, this bar is a 1 inch by 1 inch uh, square bar. It's about 48 inches in length goes right through and what I made here is for the bars <clears throat> I was kinda figuring how to install this um, whether I wanted to do this on the back wall or if I just wanted to place it on the top somehow so the back wall method was completely out of my question reason why is because the tank is already at the back it's already installed and I can't drill into the back anymore unless I put the hinges really high up which doesn't make sense once again so what I made here, <coughs> looking at this, it was a 3 8 thick acrylic. And it was a nice square block. What I, what I pretty much did is I took two pieces, as you can see right there. Uh, there we go, yep, two pieces. Put it together with weld on four. Uh, I've been curing it for about four hours now. It's pretty stiff, but I'm going to give it 24 hours until I finally permanently fix this in my tank um, this square piece pretty much just cut it in the angle sanded the sides off use a flame torch uh, with propane torch and uh, just polish the sides as you can see you can see my finger right through it uh, square uh, bracket groove is just for holding up that square piece there and the way this is gonna sit is because it's 3 8 all I had to do is there you go and that's how my system uh, is gonna hook on now I can move this to the back or the front what I didn't do which I wanna do which I will do is drill a little hole here maybe two holes and I'll probably put a nylon screw that's gonna position the fixture where I want it's not gonna move at all what I'm gonna do here for you guys now is just connect this uh, there we go, one on this side. I'm just going to put this lighting up here. I'm um, so sorry, what I did was uh, I drilled holes into the back here and the screws that I use, uh, some of you are probably going to think what type of screws I use. Oops, oh, clumsy hands today. Uh, here we go, so this is it. Uh, you can pick this up at Home Depot. I'm just trying to unleash it there. My dog's going crazy. This right here. Okay, so that has a thread. If you can see it, it has a thread right there. I use a screw with the Robinson bit with the washer. And so the screw in the washer side is going to go on the inside. And then the finishing is going to sit at the top. So if you can see, the finishing is very flush. Stays right inside, and I have no problems at all. So there are four lights, so that's 40 watts. And in the center, I left a big gap. Reason why? I have a 30 watt RGB LED light, LED light coming in. So it's going to be 30 watts in the center, and then you got the four at the side, and I think that should be enough for now. Um, for my backup, 
what I have is previously ordered before if you see my old videos I have a hundred watt cool white LED lights mounted on a heat excuse me mounted on a heat sink uh, these are really bright um, the issue that I had with these before now I don't know if I didn't acclimate the SPS curl in the past but two of my Montiporas and uh, the SPS coral, the frags that I had, died in a, in a matter of a month or two. So I did properly acclimate him, um, putting at the bottom, to the middle, to the top. Again, I don't know if the lights were way too bright because remember guys, LED equivalent to your halogen, to your T5s, to your metal halides is completely different. So just because you have a 200, uh, 150 watt metal halide or... 250 watt metal halide you have to get 250 watts of LED it's not true at all um, so okay anyways enough talking I know you guys want to see this thing in action so oh boy now right now it is kind of um, it's not going to be a hundred percent secure the way I want it to right now and again I'll make another video for the future reference on how this is connected uh, sorry how this is professionally and properly done you know what guys if you can bear with me for two seconds I'm just gonna put the camera down and follow me along you know, where's my tank there it is alright so just hang tight and I'm gonna get this done All right, guys, here we go. Okay, I think everything is on here. Oh. Boom. Turn off my main lights. And this is how it looks. Okay, and I'm just going to switch the lights up a little bit. Okay, 40 watts on my tank. This is how it looks. Let me know what you guys think. That's how the bar comes across. Looking at it from the side. Oh, just one more thing. What I'm going to do here, <clears throat> I got to get the end caps. They're 39 cents at Home Depot. End caps going to give it that nice professional plastic look. And uh, somehow, I'm going to have to mount this so it doesn't wiggle. And in case this were to move, it's not going to move. So, acrylic, um, this acrylic piece uh, cost me four bucks. This square piping here, 48 inches across, one inch by one inch. Um, this was 17 or $18 at Home Depot. So the whole project was done under 20, 25 bucks. Turn off the lights, play with the lights a little bit. Pink, pink. Now this is just awesome. The amount of things you can do with these people is phenomenal. Have a white, have a white, and maybe dim the whites. Okay. So hope you guys do like it. 
Uh, please, uh, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know and how you guys like this. Um, if you want me to uh, try something else out, well, again, let me know. This is only sitting on 40 watts. I will be doing more in the future. Uh, brighten this up again. So this is a good thing about the LEDs. You know, you can switch around, play around with all these lights and have all different assortment of colors inside of it. You can hit all purple. Again, one remote, which is here, will control all the lights. You don't have to have four different remotes. Green, green. <clears throat> okay, ladies and gentlemen, again, any questions, let me know. Um, if you guys like the pro like the product that I just built, uh, do it yourself LED light stand. Please like below, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much, and uh, have a great day.